Hello, it's Dale here. Today, because people have asked me after I put these um, our silken straws on on Facebook, uh, people have been asking me about them, how to use them. It, this is a it's a beautiful. We're really thrilled with this. It's a flat silk tape or thread or whatever you might call it, like a straw. Now um, it's not quite soft. And I suppose in some ways it's a little like a very fine silk ribbon, but it isn't. And it's got layers that you can actually pull apart, I've noticed. I'm just exploring a bit here. So you could use those in, in you know, um, exploit the use of that. I've been doing quite a bit of stitching with it to play. Here I've got lots of um, uh, French knots. Now mine are never exquisite and perfect. That's what most people would realise for sure by now. So it's the texture that I'm looking at in this piece. And here I've just done a few um, French knots and how easily it just slips through. Don't look at the perfection of this. Just to add, this is a little piece that often gets little extras added to it. And how easy it slips through to make some French knots. So let's come back and look here. And it's just such a soft thread. I've used a milliner's number one. This is the Sue Spargo one, but if you've got a, a tulip, ne a good needle or anything like that. And it, you also, somebody was saying, perhaps you could iron iron it flat. Well, I, um, you know, there are things to iron and things not to iron, but it's pretty flat as it is. Um, we do have another one we saw, which is quite hard when it starts, but it softens up if you work on it. And so um, I've done a few things here. I've used it for long and short stitch, and because they are very, because they are all of ours are always um, variegated dyings, you get that contrast. So it slips in really nicely. You can see it makes itself pretty flat. I've also you could use it for things like straw surface or some sort of texture that you want just by uh, you know manoeuvring it around. And I'm working on a pre felt, so it's nice and soft. Um, in fact, this looks like two pre-felts that I've uh, put together with the embellishing machine. So that's how nice it is to stitch with. Now I've also threaded it through here and made a little lacing of it, uh, just as part of experimenting and playing. And there's some other little squawky French knots. And uh, that's the chain um, that I, chain, I never remember the names of these threads, but of these stitches. But you know, you get the idea if you want to play with it. Um, and then I've also done the same thing here. I've put I've just a sort of a bigger one of that other one I showed you, and I've just worked it through and threaded it through because so you get that little bit of texture. So if you're doing any surface work, just to add to other surface work that you might do, and that's where it's really lovely to stitch with. And being silk, it's just the contrast with that. That's um, pearl cotton there. And on this one here, I am planning to make some. Um, it, this is a piece that I took when I was at the beach and you can see the um, the uh, the grasses and things that I'm working on. So I'm planning to use use it to this colour here to just uh, work um, grasses and things on the surface of my piece so that they'll end up being you know, here just uh, playing with a few different ideas. And uh, I think they'll work really well. And another one that I've got with that, this is when I was at the beach uh, on my little holiday in March, and I'm still working on this. But this is another beautiful colour, which we've co actually called Porth... Porth... Beach, isn't it? Yeah, Porth... Oh. <laughs> Porth Minster Beach, which was where we stayed in Cornwall. And it reminded me of those colours. And I thought it may mean more to people like I could have called it Foxton Beach. But I'm going to use this in some way uh, on here because it's so uh, just perfect colours that I got Jacinta to do for me. And uh, just to let you know uh, what we have, you know, like these are all the colours we've got at the moment. They're all on our web, but just the, the myriad of, of the colours that we sell pretty often. So... Um, they, this is another lovely one that I haven't taken, but this is sort of like our old rose. Um, and one of the things about Jacinta's dying is that we're always changing colours. So it's some once they've gone off and they don't appear again because um, she's moved on, and I've moved on, and uh, the dye pot's a little bit different the next time. So that's just to give you an idea of how you could use it. 
Um, I also thought, I haven't done it myself, but because they're on 12 meter roll uh, hanks, you could wind this, hand wind it onto your bobbin and work it uh, by working upside down, you know, turning your material over and sewing on the back so that the texture comes through the front. And this would be absolutely wonderful for uh, works that way. Um, so there you go. If you've got any other um, people, uh, I've, I've also seen, and I don't do it, but canvas work, that it is very good for canvas work because it will lay flat. But don't take, just don't take my word for it. Try it yourself if you do canvas work. So it's just another beautiful thread, which is just nice to work with. So I hope if you've got it or you're thinking about it, it gives you something else to add to your um, collection. So I'll see you again next time. Bye.